I didn't shoot or edit anything this week. I didn't go to work either. I just completely disconnected and took a leave of absence practically from everything. Hey friends, two quick updates for you. First, just wanted to say a big thank you for the just like early support. Honestly, didn't know how things would be received and in today's day and age, it's pretty scary with all that's happening on the internet with your privacy or lack thereof, uh, your personal data. But glad some of you enjoyed it. Uh, and I, at the end of the day, like that's what matters. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But for those that it is helping, cool. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for some of the early subscribers. Uh, that's dope, so appreciate ya. My end goal here is to become a meme. <laughs> uh, like I shared previously, I've worked in the tech industry now for a couple years. I've learned a thing or two, not much. Now I'm pretty private with my personal life. I understand that sometimes, you know, I'll be out of my comfort zone, but I'm learning to embrace it because I really do think things that you and I are going to talk about are thought provoking and should bring you value day to day. So just to recap, three things, right? One, um, this channel, we're going to talk about life. How are you living it? At the end of the day, at least to me, that's what's most important. It's not about how much money you make, how much clout you have. If you work at a big tech company or a big law firm, what kind of cars you drive, if you're the most prestigious doctor. To me, what matters most is how you're living your life and how you are impacting those around you and ultimately making this world that we share a better place, um, not just for ourselves, but for our future generations. You know, and I hope you guys are curious and ask yourselves like, why are you here? Why am I here? What is our purpose? Is that even a thing? <laughs> Secondly, we're gonna talk about personal finances. I'll never say that I've made it and you'll never hear me flex. I don't have fancy cars, don't have a fancy lifestyle. You know, everyone has different priorities and that's 100% okay. What is worth spending your money on to you? What are you planning for? Do you like to travel a lot? Do you love eating certain kinds of foods? Do you like going to concerts? Do you like investing your money? Whatever it is to you, uh, hopefully you have some goals and we'll talk about that just different strategies to get to where you want to get to Thirdly just overall market knowledge and business acumen. That's my background uh, Very very interested in these things Hopefully you guys are curious about what's happening around you in the business world of tech of healthcare entertainment of education real estate you name it, there's a lot to cover. And I don't know everything. I will never try to talk about something that I don't understand. Cause that's lip service, right? That's not doing you guys a service. It's not helping anybody. So uh, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I will be having other, you know, subject matter experts, uh, SMEs. Uh, they might not, you know, label themselves as that, but I do look up to them in their respective fields. Um, and they will be on some of these future episodes if you're interested in that, please tune in. For example, we'll have financial advisors, real estate investors, engineers at tech startups, women in tech. Just talking about a lot of different things, right? Talking about work-life balance, remote life, you know, the foundational building blocks, earning more income to savings, investments, because in each one of those, there's just a very big spectrum and a lot of depth in what we could talk about. So once again, uh, I don't know everything, I never will, but Stick around if you're curious about any of those things. More on that later. So thank you guys. I'm very, very appreciative of the kind words, uh, the shares, the likes, uh, the subscribes. If you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like, I do think it helps with the YouTube algorithm. I don't really know how that works. And those of you that are already helping me with some of the things on the back end, dude, thank you so much. So secondly, I didn't shoot or edit anything this week. I didn't go to work either. I just completely disconnected and took a leave of absence, practically from everything, to take an emergency trip to Taiwan. Uh, 
This week has been a roller coaster of emotions. I just celebrated my birthday and then literally got a phone call from my parents saying, Hey son, you gotta come back to Taiwan ASAP. Uh, grandpa has just been admitted to the ICU. For those of you that don't know, that's the intensive care unit. And the doctor says he has about one to two days left. And I was like, whoa. Hold up. Pause. What? what? So I booked my flight, worked with my company to have an action plan, and I took off. I was limited on time, and for those of you who have made this trip before, it takes about a full 24 hours to get there with layover. I want to say this. It's funny how quickly and easily it is to get caught up in the everyday grind rinse and repeat cycle of life. Waking up, for a lot of us just struggling to get out of bed, asking yourself, why am I waking up today? Dreading the proverbial eight to five, whatever that may be for you. And whatever daily routine or aspirations or hobbies that you have later, then repeat. Personally, for me, my main focus since graduating was straight up just financial independence. Doing whatever it took to get there, figuring out what that meant, and being very disciplined about it. So that means like paying off student debt, car payments, hitting my savings goals, uh, reaching certain retirement milestones, progressing in my career, right, climbing the ladder. A lot of my focus was revolving around money, right, paying it off, making more of it, saving more of it, growing more of it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because yes, that is important. You need money to buy certain things in life to survive. And money does bring happiness to an extent. But this tough life experience gave me a much needed big reset button uh, on life and perspective. So a little bit of backstory. Over the years, right on my mom's side, I've already lost both my grandparents. On my mom's side, in Mandarin, that would be my wai gong and wai pu. They both passed away at a pretty old age and lived a long life. And although that was sad, this time it hurt a lot more. The grandpa that's in the ICU right now is the grandpa on my dad's side, which in Mandarin is Ye Ye. And that's how I'm going to refer to him for the rest of the video. So I lived with Ye Ye back in 2014. It was around then that we discovered he had early onset, Alzheimer's, and dementia. There were two to three occasions where he would either go to the market close to home to buy groceries or he would be going to a restaurant and then he would just forget where he was. And any of you that have family or friends that have gone through this know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. Um, obviously not a doctor, although <laughs> everyone in my network is. My best friend growing up, my college roommate, my brother is a doctor, and my sister-in-law is a doctor. So maybe they can explain to me. But in those times that he got lost, people in Taiwan are very kind and they walked him back home. Uh, so they let our family know what's up, and my dad couldn't take time off work and my brother was in med school. So naturally, I went back to Taiwan to live with Ye Ye until we could find him a full-time caretaker. And I have some pretty funny stories. I remember walking downstairs in the morning and grandpa would just freak out. He'd yell at me and ask, Nishi Se? Like, who are you? And he would be rolling up a newspaper, like getting ready to smack me. And I'd be like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold up. I'm your grandson. Please don't hit me. And I'd actually even joke and be like, I'm your favorite grandson. And most days he'd kind of just like side eye me, look at me like this, and be like, well, oh, okay, that checks out. But there's some days where he's just like, you're lying. And I'm like, no idea what to do in those situations. Prior to that, I hadn't seen him in years. It's no surprise that he didn't recognize me. So over the next couple weeks, months, we'd share a lot of great memories, great stories, a lot of great food. I love Chinese food. <laughs> this is something that I hope everyone can experience in their life, just sharing those moments with your grandparents because they have a lot of love and wisdom to pass on and to share with you, to share with us. We're the new generation and we have a lot to learn. 
So this is the kind of person uh, yeah, yeah, my grandpa is. Like, most days I would either make lunch or dinner, right? And whatever meal I didn't make, we'd go out and get. Ultimately, he got to a point where we, he couldn't walk, so I would just go get the food and bring it back home. So whether it was, you know, cheap Taiwanese lunch boxes, which is like 60, 70 Taipei, which is like $2.50 to us, or baozi or jiaozi dumplings, or noodles, right? These are all things that grandpa liked to eat, but it didn't matter where I went, uh, they would just take one look at me and know exactly what grandpa wanted. That's how familiar they were with him because he ordered the same thing every time. So, for example, dumplings, he would get exactly 12. He would get like six leek dumplings and six cabbage dumplings and always a $15 add on of soy milk which is still jam. I look back at these moments um, very fondly. It makes me like want to tear up, but also smile. That was back in 2014. Now it's 2019, basically 2020. And for the last several years, I've just been grinding away trying to be someone whatever that means. For anyone that has lost a grandparent, a grandma, a grandpa, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, a friend, or loved one, I'm really sorry to hear that. I do know what you're going through. I hope that you do have memories, fond or not, that you can look back on. Hopefully you have some life lessons that you've learned and took away. Oh my god. I'm laughing because I'm at work right now just sitting in the car. I'm just like ugly crying. <laughs> just texted my manager, said I need a second. And this posty song ain't helping. <laughs> just got off the phone with my parents uh, need to go see grandpa I'm not doing too hot uh, about to look at some flights ASAP and uh, go home man it's the only thing to do but I'm, uh, I'm gonna clean up Go take a shower or something and then go back to work. But this is tough. Life is tough. This is real. Life is real. I hope everyone's doing well. Go talk to your families. Love you guys. Damn, and then there's just another sad song next. What? <laughs> I can't. Um, love you, Grandpa. I'll see you soon. Bye.